Hi Kules, welcome to part 2 of Barcelona versus Las Palmas. You know, there was just so many tactics in that game that I had to make two videos. But before we get into all of the tactics, as always guys, please do subscribe to the channel. It's going to help us a lot to get the family to grow. And thank you for your undying support. But without any further ado, let's get right into the video. When the second half started, the first thing that Xavi really established was this back three. You saw the double pivot, Joao Cancelo coming forward and Rafinha going into his position. So props to Xavi for doing that. We have seen in the past, Barcelona never really get into safe again. Now, Munoz actually went into a back five for Las Palmas. And you could see that Barcelona had the back five. And these, the midfield three had to come close in order to keep shape and then you saw one man up top now Sergio Roberto didn't go into these plays instead he stayed closer to keep this player to come closer as well and then it was actually Rafinha to come and get the ball and at times Rafinha was actually man alone to receive the ball here because this player cannot go out then Sergio Roberto has the ball and Rafinha was open this player couldn't follow because that would leave the space open so props to Xavi for doing this and you see immediately when you do these kind of things and you have order and structure then your opponents have no way but to no um how can i say no choice but to leave certain players open and that is where you can do the damage i would have loved to see more crosses into these positions for Lewandowski however We also did so an awful lot of flexibility from Barcelona's center backs, you know, especially coming into these positions, trying to draw these players out. But at the same time, you see these triangles, right? So this is kind of like Barcelona having a back three, but at the same time, you have this tiki-taka kind of way, right? Drawing players out of position, especially with Inigo Martinez. You know, the delivery that this boy has to, to come in here, the same way with Kunde. So whenever these players decide, I don't. I only see this from Kunde. For for an example, Lamin, if he comes inside drawing, you did you do see the overlapping. The only other thing that I would like to see overlapping is this um, midfielder right there, which can be sensational for Barcelona. So these involvements from the centre backs trying to create like the, the 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 triangles is absolutely sensational. And of course, you see that Sergio Roberto and Gundogan often drop into these positions to 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 balance things out a little bit for Barcelona because we don't want to get caught up and then the people display in behind so the involvement of the center backs was also great to see from me in the second half for FC Barcelona Another thing that I love from Barcelona is the, the ball circulation. Let's say the ball is coming from Kunde towards Kubarsi. Now, everybody is going this way, of course, right? Everybody's trying to get on the ball, look on the ball, even Las Palmas. Then you see runs from the likes of Fermin into the space over here. And then Kubarsi suddenly playing it. It's like a blindsided run where the opposition are all focused to where the ball is going. But then suddenly, boom, you see the players making runs in behind going unnoticed guys if we do these tactics against psg we should easily be able to rip them apart because this this is just sensational from chavi like i said in the previous video we need to make sure that we capitalize off of all our how can i say all of our play you know because it's it's it's, it's just sensational if we actually execute these things because imagine if everybody's looking for inigo and he suddenly plays the ball through there right and then you have Lewandowski you saw that ball that 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 Kunde went around you know the ball was played in from 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 Gundogan going through here and then Kunde came here and then it was Drow Felix that missed everything so guys the tactics are there it just needs execution and this is once again why I'm saying why Xavi should absolutely be staying at Barcelona
the only thing I'm really scared of, you know, with this uh, Rafinha playing on the left side is the fact that you can see here we play more through the left wing than the right wing, which is a good thing, but at least we should find some serious balance because we know Lamine has some incredible uh, talent to be able to do this. So how do you really, how do you counter this? But let me take you through what I think we should be able to do with this thing and how we should be balancing. And it's really a simple way to do that. Now, I honestly love the dynamic that we have on this left side. And I kind of feel like Rafinha playing here is better than having Joao Felix or Ferran Torres, you know, because Joao Cancelo can easily then overlap, you know, receiving the ball. But more importantly, when the ball gets circulated, you know, and this player comes out to mark Cancelo, he can easily just play the ball in behind for Rafinha. And we talked in the previous video about taking on the shot, you know, from, from the half space or just going to the byline and then finding these players better. So, so I love that situation, right? The only thing for me really now is to find the balance. Balance meaning that how do we get the ball circulated and have the same impact on the right wing with Lamin because you see Lamin kind of suffered from that, you know. And how do you get the ball over there? And simply is that overload to isolate. So yeah, that overload to isolate is really the, the tactic that I would, would want, you know, play through the left. And we can actually attack through the left, but if that doesn't work, we can come through the right and get Lamin in those one-on-one -on -one situations. So it's really interesting times for Barcelona, you know, we're trying to get better. We are getting better, you know, overall. But like I said, that overload to isolate has to happen for, for Lamin. So then we can have some unpredictability, right? But as always, guys, please do subscribe to the channel. It's going to help us a lot to get the family to grow even bigger. Uh, we're going to upload some, uh, some more PSG videos this week. So do stay tuned. Don't miss that. Goodbye.